Welcome to the 2011 September 22nd edition of Coach's Corner. I'm sitting here with the men's and women's soccer team coaches. I'm Eric Dobransky. I'm the women's soccer coach. And I'm John Cheka, and I'm with uh, men's soccer. So we're about almost a month into the season. Tell us a little bit about the strengths you've already noticed um, with the team you're working with. Well, for us, I mean, I think uh, just being as young as we are, we've been resilient in terms of four games. Um, so far, I mean, obviously we've still got quite a season left, but but I think overall uh, the mentality, the approach to each game, I think I think being as young as we are, I think it's a, it's a positive thing moving forward. Um, you know, going into conference play this weekend, and then going uh, conference play next weekend at, at first home game. So I think I think that's been a been a plus for us. I'd have to agree with with Eric on some of the stuff he said there. Uh, for us, uh, I think our biggest strength right now is the maturity with the freshmen that have come in. With such a large uh, freshman class and a lot of them actually starting, the maturity level to go from the high school to the college level um, is definitely a plus for us. These guys have handled it very well. And especially looking at that most of the conference plays yet to be um, you know, played as, as thus far. Um, what are you already planning as far as um, weaknesses in uh, you know what you're able to accomplish with your strengths being a young team yeah I mean anytime you're building a program and that's what both of our programs are doing I mean obviously this is the first year their staff is together this is my second year um, really you, you're trying to improve in conference and our and our kids we were very clear with our kids when they first got here that uh, that conference play was was our goal this year in terms of getting better and uh, and trying to make an impact and move up those, uh, you know, move up the standings. So that's why this weekend, you know, is a big factor. Next weekend is big, a big factor in terms of where we can see ourselves as a program going. Um, you know, overall the strengths, I think, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do okay with. We'll we'll try to exploit the strengths that we have. But I think uh, overall, you know, those first four games are really trying to trying to build up the weaknesses and, and things that we've got to fix that way. Um, yeah. For us. Uh, our strengths are, are definitely showing out there with our freshmen, the, with them maturing. I think the biggest weakness we have is because we are playing so many freshmen, they don't have the experience of the college level speed of game. And um, we're, we're just trying to build on, on that learning experience, how fast the game really changes from the high school game to the college game. And for us, that's our, our biggest weekend, our weakness. Yeah, yeah. I am. Sounds like a great opportunity. Can you tell um, the Wildcat fans uh, what to expect in the next home games um, that are, you know, coming up? Well, you want to go first since you've got the first one. Um, well, I think that for our fans, uh, I think the biggest thing that they're going to see is a, a lot of fortitude out there on the field. The guys are, are going to go out there and fight. They're not going to give up. They're going to try and play a good style of game. Um, they're just going to try and put on a good show and make things uh, favorable for themselves. And tell us what time the game time is and what field. Um, that 4.30 in North Miami. Yes, it's right here down the field, or down the street. They at, play Warner University at 4.30 at North Miami Stadium. We actually have the day, the very next day, we play Thursday, the, uh, September 29th at 7 p.m. Uh, against Ave Maria University. So both games are conference games. It's free admissions. Um, it's going to be big games for our our programs in yes. general because I mean this is a game for us on the women's side that we've circled from day one uh, because anytime you, you want to improve in the conference again you have to take care of those opponents that you had a chance at last year and uh, and I think Ave is, is a game that it's our first home game and that's you know that's always big for our kids uh, especially going on the, on the road this weekend so uh, so I think for both of us it's going to be uh, huge games and, and huge opportunities for fans to come out we're gonna have fan vans here at Flamingo Hall an hour before kickoff, so at 3.30 on Wednesday will be fan vans for the men's game. Uh, our kickoff's at 7 p.m. on Thursday, so at 6 p.m. on Thursday, September 29th, will be uh, fan vans over in Flamingo Hall. We'll have halftime giveaways at both games. Uh, we're going to have t-shirts for the 50, uh, first 50 fans at both games, so uh, it'd be a good opportunity to kind of show your support and, and you know, get, our, get our programs off to a good start at home. Absolutely. Building tradition here with the men's and women's soccer team. Uh, thank you, coaches, and we wish you um, all the strength this next few games. Thank you.